want to show you an Arduino autopilot I built for my boat. Last summer I used this autopilot to steer my boat from uh, Seattle up the northwest inside passage up to the north end of Vancouver Island, about 300 miles. Now what you see in front of you is the control module, a little funky there in a cardboard box. Um, inside here are two Arduino Mega, um, bought each of those recently on Amazon for about $35 a piece. This is the hydraulic steering unit. I brought it home this fall from the boat so I could overhaul the motor and, and uh, change the controller. Currently this has a Trex motor controller from Pololu. Uh, it's a pulse width modulated which means I can control the speed and I'm going to show that to you. Here's a 12 volt 11 amp DC motor, small hydraulic pump running uh, fluid through several hoses. So around here on the other side we have the hydraulic cylinder which does the steering. And this wooden shaft and arm represent the arm from the boat. Uh, and then what I have here is a uh, rudder position feedback indicator using a sensor that's a lot like what you have for a gas pedal sensor in all the new cars. So now I'll show you some of the operation. Uh, the autopilot has several dis different modes of operation. The first one I'll demonstrate is what I call knob steering. So the switch is on, I press key 5, tells the command unit we're going to do knob steering. This is a little potentiometer. And as I turn it slowly, the rudder turns slowly. And as I turn it faster, the rudder goes faster. And then it goes to the commanded position and comes to a stop. So this sends a command and the rudder position indicator says when it is over to that position it slows down and stops. Now I'll give it a fast command from right rudder to left rudder and we'll observe that. Now the thing that lets that happen is that PWM module in this Pololu uh, motor controller. So we have manual steering, we also have compass steering and GPS steering. I'll show you the compass steering first. This is the compass I use, it's a gyro compass. Uh, it's made by Pololu, that's about a $40 item. Uh, right here is the heading that the compass is reporting. You can see as I rotate this, that compass heading is changing. All right, now when I hit key one, this will go to compass, and this heading to steer, HTS, will capture this heading, and that will be the heading that the boat maintains. So there it's steering, rudder zero, the heading's off a little bit, we'll hit it again, kind of zeroed in. So that's how, and then as, as the compass, as the boat were to change, the rudder will respond to get you back on course. Go back to off. Okay, so now we'll show the uh, GPS mode. First we'll go back to off, then we'll hit 2 for GPS. Now the rudder's, it's not actually under control, so the rudder's just made a big correction here to try to get us back on course. So in this mode we have the fire department as our go-to waypoint. Its current bearing is 157. It, the GPS is reporting a course over ground of 202, which is not correct because we're not physically moving. The course to steer is being calculated as 157, that's the same as the bearing. And right here is cross-track error. Currently it is zero because we just enabled it. Um, if, if the cross-track error were to increase, then the heading to steer will, will uh, come up to a new value to uh, get us back on course and keep cross-track error down to zero. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or want to get some project files, send me an email.